Ah, uh, yes, we are finally here. Hey, check out this behind me. What's this say? Welcome to Exmouth on the Ningaloo Reef. You three weeks in Yardy Creek. I'm pumped. We'll uh, see you at the end. Rock and roll. Welcome back. So today, we're finally taking a hike up Yardy Creek. It's just the boys today. Hey. Hi. <laughs> and uh, it's a beautiful morning. The sun's just come up over the hills. And we're gonna see what we can see before it gets too hot. We made it, mate. Well done. Good high five. <laughs> Yeah. 
down south. Uh, Windermand is supposed to be beautiful uh, and there's a number of other beaches down here too that we're going to try and check out today. So stay tuned for some uh, beach adventures, some more corrugations, some uh, sandstone rocks, and maybe even some termite mounds, uh, everything and all of the above. Rock and roll, see you there. Well, this is more like it. Hey, it's still a little blowy, but come and check this out. Windaroo Bandy Point, that was beautiful. We saw a shark, um, some turtles, <clears throat> tried to get the drone up to um, to catch some footage of a turtle that was swimming by where we were all set up on the beach. And uh, well, the SD card was full for one, but then um, whilst landing it, I tried to um, catch it in the palm of my hand, but the wind was too high and the thing, uh, it overbalanced, tried to correct itself and <laughs> got me on the thumb um, I've never been struck by a drone before but boy was it painful and uh, there was a considerable amount of blood so we're just gonna make our way back down this corrugated track back to camp and uh, assess the damage hopefully it's not too bad I've got to swim with the uh, whale sharks on Thursday I don't know if you can see but it's it's pretty straightforward there's a quite a high sandbar. The um, tide will be a good, oh, well over a meter lower uh, than it was when we came through here this morning. So the ground is um, super hard. You can see there's a tiny soft bit. I don't know if you can see at the end of the track there, but. I'll try and catch Meg driving through it anyway, so you get a good feel for what it's like. But anyway, Yardy Creek Mouth Crossing. Here we go. Oh, the 200 sounds great, doesn't it? Woo! Easy peasy. A little bit of soft stuff at the end there, but otherwise, piece of cake. Better go catch up now. We'll be walking all the way home. Things that make you go. You be the nurse, and I can be the patient girl. Lift up your skirt. I love Cause there's nothing else for me to do To keep myself away from you And everything it happens for Some kind of reason You can take me anywhere Or strip me from my underwear As long as we are having fun Just don't tell your mother we put the feet in the back Thanks for finally turning it up. Yardy Creek, check it out. It 
It's uh, Wednesday today, and I know that because tomorrow's Thursday, and we go on the whale shark swim tomorrow. We've been here since Sunday, so it's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday night, three nights in total. And uh, finally, the wind has died off enough today to actually get in the water at Yardy Creek. And I can tell you, it's, um, it's a welcome break from the wind. It's been pretty full on. And in fact, it's been really off-putting. But we've managed to see some beautiful things. Um, went on a tour up the creek today, which was just spectacular. Um, just aired up the tyres because we went for a drive into Windrabandi Point yesterday, which was also just beautiful. Um, plenty of marine life there. Uh, but today we think we might even go and do a bit more exploring down south. So, sorry, I should say up north, back towards Exmouth. See what there is to see at some of the other beaches there. Anyway, I'll keep you posted. That was Osprey Bay, hey? What an awesome place. From uh, You just walk straight out into the water, swim straight out to where it starts to get grassy, and bam, turtles straight away. Where I saw at least three, maybe four different turtles and heaps of different um, kinds of fish and stuff. That was awesome. We all got to snorkel out, all got to swim with the, with the turtles out there. It was magnificent. You look like you're ready to yeah, swim. <laughs> Where are we headed? Oyster Stacks. Oyster Stacks! Oyster Stacks! I can't wait. Um, it looks like epic snorkeling. We went there yesterday, we stopped in. It was a bit overcast yesterday, so we decided we're going to come back when the sun is shining, and it is perfect today. The weather is magnificent. Check it out. Sun's shining, we're headed for a top of 33. There isn't uh, very little wind today, if any at all, and the snorkeling is going to be epic. So the deal with oyster stacks is you've got to go on high tide. It's uh, this really sheltered reef bit, it's rocky, 
it's shallow. The rocks can be pretty sharp in some spots, although we were there yesterday, we didn't think it was too bad. Some people seem to blow it a bit out of proportion. But um, if you go at high tide, it should give you a meter or 1.2 meters or so above the coal, which means you can safely uh, swim without hurting yourself and also protect the corals. Um, that's the most important thing is to make sure that you're not stepping on them, climbing all over them, accidentally bumping into them, that kind of thing. So uh, that all the fish keep coming back and keep it looking pretty amazing. We saw plenty of fish just from standing on the rocks and yesterday. An, and an eel. And an eel. So, uh, we're super keen to get back. We heard someone say that they saw a turtle there too. So uh, it's only less than 20 minutes uh, north from Yardi Creek Campground. So we'll be there in no time and we're going to have some epic adventures. Rock and roll. See you soon. Oyster stacks. You can see I'm in this lagoon and it's super sheltered and it's massive. I'm, I've got to be at least a couple hundred meters off the shore. And over in the distance, you can see the waves breaking. Not too far from here. That's the, uh, that's the reef wall, that's the edge of the reef, that's the lagoon. That's why it's so sheltered in here. It's, uh, it's only 300 meters off shore. Uh, it's the closest the Ningaloo Reef itself gets to the shore, um, making it such an accessible place, easy to swim in, very little current, if any, um, at times, and uh, super safe for kids, and so much to see. Uh, I've already swam with some of the most colorful fish I've ever seen, and a little, uh, a little turtle too, so just having the most amazing morning
Uh, this is pretty much what we've come to expect of all the beaches along this coastline. Hey, check it out as we pop up, uh, pop up through this dune here. <laughs> Just look at the colour of the water. Hey? Have you ever seen water that blue? My God. <laughs> uh, we couldn't resist, we we're driving past, we we're gonna head back to camp because it's about lunchtime and we we're all knackered from snorkeling so hardcore all morning. It was full on snorkeling, it was great fun. So much to see, um, but <clears throat> we couldn't drive past. So here we are, we're at a spot called Sandy Bay. We'll go check it out. Wow, we've had an awesome day today. <clears throat> Snorkeling on the reef at um, Oyster Stacks was just magnificent. No, no, and now we've settled down in into camp for some dinner. Oh, at Yardy Creek. Hey, check this out for a view. Mm -hmm. 